we are going to explore another Apple MacBook Pro with a processor Apple M2. To see the best possible configuration, know in detail the specifications of this model and the processor and the final price of the computer. It's not cheap because it's a very powerful computer. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week and in this series we are going to explore many MacBooks. Let's choose a MacBook. We want the 14-inch version and this version has a base price of $2,000. It comes with a processor M2 Pro, 16 gigabytes of memory and 512 gigabytes of storage. But we are going to do a better configuration. So we are going to choose a better M2 Pro. We don't need the M2 Max right now. And it will be $300 for this version. The memory will choose 32 gigabytes of memory for more $400 and for storage we'll choose 8 terabytes of storage for more $2,400. In the configuration of a 14 inch MacBook with a processor M2 Pro with 12 core CPU, 19 core GPU and 16 core neural engine with 32 gigabytes of memory and 8 terabytes of storage will be $5,099. This is a super powerful computer from Apple with the best configuration of this model. Great for work, production and processing. But let's see in detail the specifications of the model we chose. So about the technology, it has an Apple M2 Pro, a maximum clock speed of 3.5 GHz with an 12 core CPU, 8 performance cores and 4 high efficiency cores. The graphics processor has 19 cores, 32 gigabytes DDR5 RAM at 6400 MHz, 8 terabytes NVMe storage, a 14-inch liquid retina XDR display with a resolution of 3024 by 1964 pixels. It has a backlit QWERTY keyboard with function keys, fingerprint reader with Touch ID, a 1080p FaceTime camera, a built-in microphone with directional beamforming technology, six-speaker system with force-canceling woofers, a 96-watt power charger, a battery of 70 watts hour, 18 hours watching movies and 12 hours using Wi-Fi, and comes with the operating system macOS Ventura. This computer has the connectivity Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, 3 Thunderbolt 4, USB-C ports compatible with charging, DisplayPort, Thunderbolt 4, 40 gigabits, USB 4, 40 gigabits, one HDMI 2.1 port, SDXC card reader, a MagSafe 3 for charging, and a 3.5 mm headphone jack. The physical characteristics of this computer, the screen is anti-glare, with a diagonal of 14.2 inches, the computer measures 0.61 by 12.31 by 8.71 inches and weighs 3.5 pounds. The color can be space gray or silver and the material of the structure is aluminium. Regarding the repairability, the SSD is on board, the Wi-Fi card is on board, the RAM memory is on board and the processor socket is BGA. Almost everything is soldered on the motherboard, but you can see that in the video where I open the computer. Now the features it doesn't have, which can be an important factor when choosing a computer. So it doesn't have a touch screen, no touch bar, you can't replace the RAM memory, nor replace or expand the storage, no M.2 or SATA connection, no USB type A ports, no RJ45 port to connect a network cable, no display port or mini display port, no physical privacy shutter for the camera, no DVD player, no wall for a Kensington lock. But the connectivity it doesn't have, you can try to solve with adapters. Let's see in more detail the specifications of the processor. It has a Apple M2 Pro chip with a maximum speed of 3.5 GHz. The CPU has 12 cores, 8 performance cores and 4 power efficiency cores. The GPU has 19 cores and the neural engine has 16 cores. Supports a maximum memory of 32 gigabytes. Compatible with LPDDR5 6400 memory in quad channel. 
of cache memory as 32 megabytes L2 and 24 megabytes L3 with a 5 nanometer lithography and a minimum TDP of 20 watts. And for now, that's all I have to say about this MacBook Pro specs and technology, but you can choose the best configuration for your work, and the price can vary from $2,000 to $8,000. This was another Apple MacBook Pro, but there will be more videos, from unboxings, specifications and connectivity analysis, speed tests or how to disassemble and repair, to know everything about this computer, so you can decide if the MacBook Pro is the best computer for you. Now, subscribe to the channel, because I post new videos every week, hit the like button, and if you have any questions about this computer, write in the comments.